Uh, good afternoon, it's Roger Gilbert here from uh, International Aquafeed Magazine and Fish Farming Technology. Uh, we're launching or we're going online with our May edition of International Aquafeed and Fish Farming Technology Magazine today. Uh, and it's of course off to the printers and be back in the mail uh, by the end of this week. So it's timely to talk to the managing editor uh, Vaughan Entwistle about what is in, what's going to be in this issue that's going to be to attract our readership. Uh, of course, um, let me pull uh, or ask Vaughan to join us now and uh, we'll get, get underway. Uh, welcome Vaughan. Thank you Roger. It's good uh, to be here again. Yes, Vaughan, uh, issue going up online today at the printer. Uh, what are some of the hot topics that uh, Aquafeed is uh, bringing us this month? Well, unfortunately, uh, our main topic is, of course, COVID-19. Um, I know we're all sick of seeing it on the news, but our magazine is going to give you uh, a representative of how it's impacting the aquaculture industry. And, of course, it is. And as our magazine is international scope, a lot of the articles we have in the magazine are, are from all over the world. For example, we've got uh, an article from Scotland, one of the big salmon producing countries. Uh, the Scottish government is actually pledging financial support for um, the, the aquaculture industry there. And so, similarly, um, Norway is also helping their salmon industry um, with uh, grants and other kinds of incentives. Uh, and it's interesting to me that um, Obviously, with all the restaurants closing in most in most countries, that's been an understandable drop in salmon consumption. Uh, what I do find interesting is that um, there's also a corresponding drop in the in the purchases of meat and salmon and other fish by consumers. So I don't know if it's because everyone's eating all the dried pasta that they panic <laughs> bought months ago, but uh, yeah. you think you think that would have made up for it, but it hasn't. So that's bad for the industry, and we're going to see lower sales this year. Um, so a very interesting article I found was on a Polish bio, uh, biotech company that's actually using its expertise to produce um, coronavirus testing kits. Mm. I mean, that's the thing when you've got mm -hmm. such a talented flanks of people working for you, they can turn their hands to other things. Mm. And people are looking to help with this crisis in any way they can. So I think that was a very inspirational story. Uh, we also have an article from Constance Coleman, who is the CEO of the American feed industry. Oh, so yes, we know, we know her, yes. We know her, yeah. We talked to her recently mm. after uh, the yeah. IPPE show yeah. in Chicago. Um, so who, one of the leading companies, as always, is Alltech. And uh, Mark Lyons, the CEO and president of Alltech, has written it. They gave a, an online uh, conference, and Mark gave a very inspirational speech on being a leader during difficult times. And we are in difficult times. Mm -hmm. One of the things that impresses me about Alltech is you, if you've ever been to one of their conferences, they always have a very positive message about the future. Mm -hmm. If you've ever been to their ideas conference, one of the slogans they use there is, uh, a future of plenty. So instead of being a half glass half full kind of view of the world and what's happening with limited resources, they really firmly believe and they have the, the scientific know-how and technology to back it up that they can turn things around, that mm -hmm. the whole industry, aquaculture industry, can turn things around and provide a better future for us all. So we, we have a report there, do we, uh, Vaughan? Because I, I actually saw that interview as, interview as well. And it yeah. was quite, uh, well, it was very impressive. And he covered uh, all those aspects of managing under a crisis, which I mm -hmm. thought was uh, was broader than just aquaculture, actually. Yes. But yeah. um, no, very very good to have that reported in, in the essential points of that in the magazine. Thank you. Yeah, Mark's philosophy and outlook on life is one that uh, we, we would all do well to uh, take heed of. Yeah. So... Um, and on that same note, that as many shows have been cancelled, and we've been covering those cancellations in the magazine, we're constantly updating our uh, event calendar. Um, what's happened is a lot of companies have decided to, decided to take their conferences online. And I think that may, may be a, a trend that stays with us, even after the, the, the crisis is resolved. It's going to save a lot of money. It's obviously going to be better for the planet because it's got a much lower greenhouse 
the fact. Um, so that may be, you know, like I said, that may be a trend mm-hmm. for the future. Hopefully the trade shows will come back because it is always good to see the equipment in the flesh and touch and talk to people and, uh, mm-hmm. and find out what, uh, and see the latest equipment and additions reaching oh, the market. Oh, yes, yes. I think that uh, trade shows certainly have a, a continuing space, but... Uh, place in our, in our lives, but just how they're going to operate in future, we don't know yet, of course, with yeah. all the social distancing and countries doing different things and airlines not traveling. So, yeah, maybe uh, these online events will become more of a, uh, of a regular thing than, uh, than have been in the past, which will be good news for, for information sharing. Yes, yeah. Um, so in our tech side of the, of the uh, coverage of the aquaculture industry. We have an interesting uh, article about geofeed, which is a system where geothermal energy is used to heat water and grow uh, hort- grow horticulture and also raise fish in. That's, a, that's kind of a unique thing. Uh, there's only a few places on Earth where you can pull things off like that, but uh, mm. it's interesting when somebody can use that technology and combine it with both aquaculture and growing plants. Mm. Uh, we also have an article on a Gale Force product, which is their sea feed system, a, way, a new way to feed fish in pens a more efficient way. And of course, that's hugely important to um, fish, farm, uh, fish farm companies because the single biggest expense you have is fish feed. Mm. And so you want to make sure all the feed is eaten, it's eaten efficiently, there's none sinking to the bottom of the, of, of the water. So that, that's a very good take on a new way of doing that. Mm. Um, in expert topics this time, we're looking at tuna, the tigers of the sea. Yeah. And I hope to, in the future, be having a, an article on uh, tuna grown in aquaculture, which is mm. a pretty unique thing. Yeah. And Vaughn, you know, who is our interviewee of the, of the month? Interviewee of the month is Jack Chen from Fan Sun, yeah. a very big Chinese company, which seems to be... Uh, growing every year so it'll be very interesting to see what wisdom he has to share with us yeah so what was your favorite article in the magazine well I, I think it has to be the mark lyons report uh on his presentation about how to manage under a crisis or in difficult circumstances uh i'm also looking forward to jack chan uh, interview because that's a different aspect uh, i think he's more uh China centric and gives a good insight into the Chinese industry and, and how that's working. So, uh, but also COVID. I mean, to be fair, there's not a topic that can out uh, outplay that one at the moment. Uh, it's good news in a lot of places now that uh, that uh, transmission is coming down. Uh, New Zealand, I understand, where by the way they have uh, hydrothermal shrimp production and heated water. Uh, mm-hmm. One of those unique places you're talking about. But New Zealand is claiming at the moment that it is eradicated uh, COVID-19 and they're looking to go um, uh, lockdown free from uh, next Wednesday. So maybe things are turning around for us, but I think it's a long journey back to uh, normality as we knew it. And I think uh, the magazine plays a real important role for aquaculturalists in how we have to adapt ourselves uh, for the future. Uh, especially the way we produce, not only produce our food, but who's going, how's it going to be consumed? And uh, I think the magazine has a real role to play in, in those regards. But uh, Vaughan, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, look forward to receiving the copy on our desks. But in the meantime, or oh, reading it online today. Thank you very much, Vaughan. Thank you. Thanks.